What's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. For the last few years I've been really interested in cloud gaming. I've tested out a lot of different services like Parsec and GeForce Now. GeForce Now is personally my favorite, but there's a limited amount of games that are compatible with GeForce Now. Recently, I was looking online and I found this service here. It's called Shadow the world's most powerful cloud gaming service. Before we even get started, I just wanna let you guys know I am not affiliated with Shadow whatsoever. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I simply found it, bought a subscription for a month, and I wanna test it out. So as you can see, they're calling themselves the world's most powerful cloud gaming service. $34.95 a month, I found a code online and it just took it down to $24.95 for the first month. It auto renews, so if you do wanna try a month, Make sure you turn your card off. We're going to scroll down here and see what we get. You have to be in the correct location for this to work. Now, when you sign up, it's going to ask you where you're located. If you're not compatible, it won't let you buy it. Your internet connection needs to be at least 15 megabits a second. So what you get for $34.95 a month is a dedicated computer in the cloud. So it has a full install of Windows. You can use it just like a desktop. You get an NVIDIA GPU, a GTX 1080 or equivalent. In my case, I got a P5000. It's not quite a gaming card, but it does the job. For the CPU, you get a Xeon with eight dedicated threads. Memory, 12 gigabytes of DDR4. Storage, 256 gigabytes of secured storage. You can also use an external hard drive if you want to. And a one gigabit internet connection. So we're gonna put this to the test today. If you're interested in checking out more, I'll leave a link to the website in the description. Everybody who signs up gets an affiliate link. If you give that out to your buddy, he'll get $10 off his first month and you'll get $10 towards your next month. If you guys want $10 off, I have mine in the description below. So this works on Windows, Linux, Mac, or Android. They also have an iOS version coming out soon, but you never know if Apple's gonna approve the app on the App Store. I'm running this on a very, very low-end computer. This is a B-Link AP34. Intel Celeron N3450 at 1.1 gigahertz. Six gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. And the GPU is an Intel 500. This computer here will run Skyrim on low settings at 20 FPS by itself. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my service here. There's a few options you can choose. Full screen mode, connection video, and various. I always turn on USB over IP so I can use an external drive and have more storage. Just gonna click start here. It's gonna search for my shadow, starting my shadow, waiting for my video. So I'm now using my shadow in the cloud. For the CPU, they gave me a Xeon E5-2620. It's a version four at 2.1 gigahertz. Not the best for gaming, but it should get us by in a lot of different games. Memory, 12 gigabytes, supposedly DDR4. And the GPU they gave me was the NVIDIA Quattro P5000. Not exactly made for gaming, but just like the CPU, it should get us by. Now, if you've already got a decent rig, this is definitely not for you. I've noticed that my old PC, which has an i7-4790K and a GTX 1066 gigabyte, performs better than this does but I want to show you the performance here. If you have like a low end computer, this is perfect for you. If you don't want to fork out two grand on a gaming PC on their website, it states that you can play the latest games at 4k. You're not going to be able to play much at 4k on this system. First game I wanted to test was far cry five. As you can see, I have afterburner running in the top left hand corner and fraps in the top right hand corner for the FPS reading. The reason I wanted to try out Far Cry 5 is because my PC that I mentioned struggles on high settings with this game. This should theoretically be able to play it at ultra settings, 1080p, 60 FPS or higher. Options, video. So for the adapter here, we have the Nvidia Quattro P5000. This thing has 16 gigabytes of video RAM. I'm on ultra settings. I do have anti-aliasing off and motion blur off. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right, so here we are, ultra 1080p. There's not much going on right now. There's no explosions. Um, I do notice that the video quality is deteriorated. 
I mean, we're streaming this from a cloud, so that's a given. That's fine with me, but we're not at 60 FPS. I don't have V-Sync on, and I don't have the frame rate locked, so I was expecting to get over 60 with this. I'm sure there are games that will play fine here. Um, this game isn't really well optimized, in my opinion. Like I said, it struggles on high settings with the setup I have. Yeah, I figured we'd be well over 60. They claim you can play the newest titles in 4K. Um, they don't say what frame rate that's going to be at. I have a little system with a 1050 Ti. It will play 4K, but at like 10 FPS in some games. I was really expecting this to run much better. I'm going to run the benchmark real quick. Minimum FPS, 37. Average, 50. Maximum, 69. Was expecting much more out of this system. Let's go ahead and test another game. Alright, so here's Overwatch 1080p Ultra Settings. 130 FPS right now. Really smooth experience. Overall, it's not bad. I've been playing for a little while. But we won't be able to run this at 4K high settings, I can guarantee you that. Last game I wanted to test here was Forza 7. This is just the demo. I couldn't get Horizon 3 to launch for some reason. A little odd. This is 1080p Ultra Settings. FPS is listed at the very top. It's doing a great job handling this game. Now, I don't think we could push it to 4K, maybe 4K 30 FPS, but definitely not 4K 60. Really like this performance here. So it's going to handle some games really well. Some games are just more taxing on the hardware. Uh, I think Forza Horizon 3, Forza 7 is going to work perfect on this. Not bad at all. While we're here, let's go ahead and run a Cinebench. I'll just do CPU here. I'll fast forward this. I think we're going to come right ahead of the 3770i7. We will not beat out that 4770k though. Yep, just as I thought. We scored a 672 right above the 3770 and below the 4770k. So it's not that bad, but it's not super top of the line like they said. They claim that we'll be able to play the latest games at stunning 4K resolutions. But as you saw, Far Cry 5 is not going to run at a good frame rate at 4K. We can't even hit 60 FPS at 1080p. Now I know a lot of people don't mind gaming at 4K 30 FPS. But if you're going to do that, just get an Xbox. So the company claims that this hardware will be upgraded over time. I think we need a little more storage and a faster CPU if we're going to pay $35 a month. If you have good credit, you can get a nice gaming PC for $35 a month. Alienware, there's tons of others that do financing. It's really up to you. Now, if you have no other way to play high-end PC games, even at medium settings, 1080p, this could be an awesome option. If you don't want to do financing through some company to buy a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop, you can always use this on the laptop you have. Remember, this also works with Linux, OS X, Android, and it's even coming to iOS, hopefully. Like I mentioned, if you already have a gaming PC that's capable of these games that I showed you, at least medium settings, 1080p, this is not for you. 
even if you're using like a third generation i3 along with a 1050 Ti, you don't need to upgrade to this. You're not going to get much of a big performance hit out of this at all. But if you have a low-end laptop, a low-end desktop, or only an Nvidia Shield and you want to play PC games, you might want to think about at least trying this for one month and see how you like it. I didn't test out many games in this video, but I do own a ton of Steam games, so if you guys are interested in seeing anything else running in the shadow, let me know in the comments below. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.